Bang! <laughs> it's time for your TLC Hiking Club video clip. All right, so it's been quite some time since I've been out here, uh, end of January. Um, so things have just been extremely busy with work, with the family, uh, with the hiking club as well. Um, most of you know that this is it. This is my last season that I'm running these kinds of adventures. Yes, I'll probably still do some local hikes every now and again, but at the capacity that I've been running this club for the last six years, um, and especially these last couple years with these incredible adventures, weekend long adventures, uh, they are coming to an end. Um, turning a new chapter in life for many different reasons. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with that again. Those of you that know me know the multitude of reasons. Uh, it's just time to turn a new chapter in life, right? I mean, that happens to a, a, a lot of us. I mean, even some of the core hikers that we've had in our group who have become incredible friends, you know, for whatever reason, they turned a chapter in life and they became runners and triathlon athletes or, you know, they went backwards or whatever. They become climbers or whatever, you know, whatever the case is, you know, unfortunately, things happen. Um, and, and it's, you know, some of it's sad because some of them, uh, these people are really good friends and we don't see them anymore. So with that being said, you know, we're at the beginning of May here. So four months are, are down, eight months left of the year. Uh, so two thirds of the year is, is left. That's it. Um, to try to get some of these adventures and, and hikes in uh, for our, a, our last season, or my last season, I should say. The hiking club is going to continue um, onward, just not with me and uh, those kind of adventures. As mentioned, still doing some local hikes after the fact. So uh, last video I put out was kind of um, abrasive, um, so I'm going to try to keep it lighthearted. Uh, this time around, you know, sometimes I get uh, passionate and, and you know, and I, I, I get in, in people's faces and people don't like that, you know, uh, but so I'm going to try to keep it lighthearted today. Um, and, and, and here's the thing I, I want to focus on is I think that some of y'all, you don't give yourself enough credit. Um, yes, we are known to be a very advanced group. Uh, our pace is, is very strong. I mean, that, that's our reputation, right? We, we have a pretty, a pretty decent reputation out there. I guess it depends on how you look at it in the hiking community. Um, we are the most advanced as far as the pace is set, how much mileage we put on, right? But let's be real here, guys. Um, not all of our hikes are 18, 25 milers, right? Some of them are five and six and eight and nine miles. So we are running some easy to moderate hikes. And as far as the pace is concerned, nothing has changed there either. You know, we have three, four, five different splinter groups with different paces within those groups. So yes, you may not be able to keep up with the lead pack, but most of you know that you can at least keep up it somewhere in the middle. And, and nobody's going, to, especially your car uh, pooling group, they're not going to leave you behind. Um, so, you know, I, I just want to put an emphasis on that because I hear a lot of comments. Yeah, but we, we can't keep up with you guys. And, and, I, and I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit, right? Um, you may not be able to keep up with the, you know, the, the alpha group. Um, that comes in a half hour or an hour before everybody else, and that's okay, and that's always been okay. There's no issue with that. Um, it's still okay to come in in the middle of the pack. You know, the, the things that we don't like to see is when we have somebody that comes in by themselves that usually hasn't hiked with us ever before, that comes in two hours, two and a half hours type of thing after the last group comes in because that then becomes, that's dangerous, right? It's like, oh, okay, you, you don't belong out here. We either called search and rescue on you or got pretty close to call search and rescue on you or we sent people back in to look for you. Um, that is what we have to avoid because that's danger. Um, 
but that's that's a rarity and I know a lot of you out there that can hang with the middle group or even the back group uh, the back splinter group uh, without any issue um, that I just like I said I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit so you know just trying to encourage you um, you, you've been part of our group for years. We would like to see more of you, especially this year before, you know, the the sentiment of the group is going to change, you know, as far as these crazy weekend adventures. Um, and look, some of these adventures, right? Some of these adventures, like the Flagstaff weekend, uh, six miles, eight miles, nine miles round trip. I mean, they are they are extremely doable hikes, right? I mean, they're, they're, they're not brutality, at, you know, type of 25 milers. So they're, it's a weekend-long adventure of moderate-rated hikes. So I, I just put that out there so you guys know and, and can... I don't know what happened where some people automatically dismiss, well, I, I, I can't go with that group because um, that's not true. I haven't, I'm not in shape. I haven't been training, you know, so I think that that is a, uh, a misinterpretation or misunderstanding that you may have um, for coming out with us. Uh, so again, just trying to speak uh, some inspiration back into you to rejoin us this year. If it's been a while that you've been out for an injury or you've been taken off a while, um, I'm pretty positive. Look, if you've hiked with us before and you've made it, you can hike with us again and still make it, right? Um, there, every once in a while, we get somebody that comes out that shouldn't be out. And they come in three hours after everybody else, and, and it puts everybody else in danger. Uh, that's a huge difference than the people that I'm, you know, uh, trying to drive a message to right now. You know what I mean? If you understand me, if you feel me. Um, and you always have that opportunity to turn back around. Uh, I, you know, I can't even keep up with the last pace group. I'm going to turn around. There is nothing wrong with that. That's a great decision that you've made. So uh, I think I spent enough time on that. Um, just would love to see you guys back out here again. Like I said, just trying to keep this lighthearted today. Uh, it is the beginning of May. It's Friday. I'm beat. It's been a rough week. Um, so what we come and what we have coming up on the docket, uh, May uh, end of May, right? Memorial Day weekend. We're going out to the Blue Primitive area, the last federally known primitive, the last federally designated primitive area in the United States is here in Arizona. Most people don't even know it's here. We're going to be there on Memorial Day weekend, and then we're going. Uh, and now there there are two extreme hikes on Memorial Day weekend. Um, but we're going back in June for a week in Hannigan Meadows, the famous Hannigan Meadows. Uh, we're going back in June, and we're going to be doing six hikes, five or six hikes, that are all like easy. There's one moderate, and then the rest are rated easy. Literally, you take your kids on these kind of hikes, right? And some of you are, but just again, put it out there as an example. Um, they're not all brutality. Right, um, so check out the calendar. Uh, I have some amazing things coming up, um, but I look. It's it's a, this is like a subculture, right? I mean, you, you get in and you become part of the core group, um, which is not hard to do. We let anybody in. I mean, as long as you can hang with us, which again is not hard to do. I think there's a miss understanding there. Um, you don't have to be coming in at the front part of the group to, to hang with our group, right? You, you, you just don't. So uh, anyhow, with that said, guys, uh, this is our, our uh, my last year running the these types of adventures. Would really like to see you come out. It's a fantastic year. A lot of stuff is planned. I have hikes on the calendar now through November. Don't have December picked uh, up yet. Um, but uh, that's it, my friends. Make it a great day. Uh, I hope this was lighthearted enough for you all. And uh, it's been a pleasure. Make it a productive day, productive week, a great weekend. We'll see ya.